Hi guys, so welcome back to our continuation on quadratic equation. So this time we're going to solve the roots or the solution of the quadratic equation in one unknown using the quadratic formula. So this is our third method. The quadratic formula is already given as the negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so this is known as your quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is used knowing that you have um, a general form of a quadratic equation as ax squared plus uh, bx plus c equivalent to zero, where a, b, c, which are the numerical coefficients, a being the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, b for the linear term, and c for the constant, will be the numbers or the or the quantities or the values that you will be using for the formula for the quadratic formula x equivalent to negative b so you have plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a this is your one this is one of your roots and the other root would be x equal to negative b then you make it minus kaya it's plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, what you have to do is write first the equation in its general form. Make sure it's equated to 0 on the right side of the equation. And then pick out a, b, and c as in as in the formula. And then as in the general formula or general equation. And then substitute it to your quadratic formula. So, the problems I wrote in this video or in this slide for a quadratic formula are the same equations we had in the previous video where we solved them using completing the square. So let me just write the question. You have there 2x squared plus x minus 3 equivalent to 0, which is already in the general form. Thus, a will be equivalent to 2, this one. b will be equivalent to 1, the coefficient of x. And c is equivalent to the negative 3. You have to include the sign. Because generally, the equation is positive. So you get, if you get a negative term, then you, you include that negative sign in your A, B, or C. And then after that, use the quadratic formula wherein you substitute these values here. So our solution would be x is equivalent to negative B, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of um, B, which is 1 squared, okay, minus 4 times A times C, which is negative 3 all over, so you have there 2 times a, where a is equivalent to 2. Okay, so the first solution would be x equal to uh, negative 1 plus okay, the square root of uh, 1 minus, so that would be positive, right? 1 plus 4 times 2 is 8 times 3, so you get there 24, right? 4 times 2 is 8 times 3. That's 24. Okay, all over, you have there 4. And then the other root would be x equivalent to uh, negative 1 minus the square root of uh, 1. Still minus uh, 4 times 2 times negative 3. So you get there plus still 24. Okay, all over. 2a, so that's still 2, that's still 2 times 2, so you get 4 for that. Okay, so simpli simplifying both, you get x equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 25 over 4, and that gives you negative 1 plus 5 over 4. You get x equal to our first root, negative 1 plus 5 is 4 over 4, that's positive 1. For the other root, Okay, for the other root, you get x equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 25 all over 4. So we get x equal to negative 1 minus 5 all over 4. So you get x equal to, that's negative 6 over 4 or negative 3 halves. And, and highlighting this will show you that this is our answer in the previous method that we used. We still get 1 and negative 3 halves. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. The next question, letter B, is you have um, 6x squared 
plus 25x equal to 14. Of course, transform this to the general form or general um, equation of a quadratic one. So you get 6x squared plus 25x minus 14 equivalent to 0. So our solution to this would be the roots would be equivalent to negative. Ah, sorry. Let's identify first a, b, and c. So a is equivalent to 6, b is equivalent to 25, and c is equivalent to the negative 14. Using again the quadratic formula, you get x be equivalent to the negative of b, so that's 25, okay, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 25 squared, okay, minus 4 times a, which is 6, times c, which is negative 14, okay. Divide all of that by 2a, so you get 2 times a, which is 6. Let's simplify this before we um, separate them into two roots. So this is negative 25, okay, plus or minus the square root of 625. So 25 squared is 625 minus, so let's get our calculator for that. Okay, so we have there um, negative 4 times 6 times negative 14. So get positive 336, okay, all over 12. Simplifying, you get x equal to the negative of 25 plus or minus the square root of, let's write that in our calculator. So we have 625 plus 336. So that square root of that sum, you get, you get 31 all over 12. So you get two answers for this. You get x equal to negative of 25 plus 31 all over 12. And the other root would be x is equivalent to negative 25 minus 31 instead of plus all over 12. So the first root is, um, that's 6 over 12 or 1 half, okay? And the other root is you get negative um, 56 all over 12. So 56 over 12, that gives us... 56 over 12, right? that gives us 14 over 3. So that's negative 14 over 3. And these are our roots for the second equation. Let's check our answers with the with completing the square. So we already solved this. This one, okay, it's this equation. Our roots to this are 1 half and negative 14 over 3. So we got the same answer. Okay, the third equation was... Let me just copy the third equation from the previous example. So the third one was 1 all over this one, right? That's 1 all over x minus 2 plus 1 all over x plus 2 equal to 1. So you get 1 all over x minus 2 plus 1 all over x plus 2 equivalent to 1. Again, you're going to simplify and transform this to its general form, which is in ax squared plus bx plus c. We already did that in the previous video. So what I'm going to do is just copy this equation. I'm going to copy this equation. This is the transform general form of this given. So that's x squared minus 2x minus 4. Let me write that. That's x squared minus 2x minus 4. Equate that to 0. Of course, identify which are a, b, and c. So a is equivalent to 1, b is equivalent to negative 2, and c is equivalent to negative 4. And then use again your quadratic formula. So that's negative b. So that's negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that's negative 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c, which is negative 4 all over twice of a, which is 1. Simplifying, you get positive 2 plus or minus the square root of, so you get here 4 plus 16, right? 4 plus 16, okay, all over 2. So you have here 2 plus or minus the square root of um, 20, all over 2. And if you simplify this actually, this is 2 plus or minus, you get there 2 square root of 5, diba? because 20 is 4 times 5. So we take the square root of 4, that's 2 square root of 5, all over 2. Okay, And that will result to our first root, which is um, 2 plus 
2 square root of 5 over 2. And the second root being 2 minus 2 square root of 5 all over 2. Actually, before you do that, you can already simplify this one. Okay, let me just move this to show you. Okay. I'll move this down. Okay, and show you how I'll simplify this one, the previous one. So, I can factor out 2 in the numerator. So, I'll get 2 times 1, okay, plus or minus square root of 5, okay, divided by 2. In that way, we get to simplify by simply canceling 2 because it appears both on the numerator and denominator. And that gives you x being equivalent to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. Thus, you get your first root as 1 plus square root of 5 and your second root as 1 minus the square root of 5. Okay. Let's check our previous solution to this, which is completing the square, if we got the same answer. And yes, we got the same answer, right? You have um, the square root of 5 plus 1 and the negative square root of 5 plus 1, which is the same to this. The square root of 5 plus 1 and the negative of square root of 5 plus 1. So that's how you do, or that's how um, you use quadratic formula in solving for quadratic equations okay but then again you can always use your calculator to check your answers if you have your calculator or, or if you are permitted to use your calculator